House of Mouse is standing up against bigotry from the House of DeSantis. I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. Uh, I think last week when we were off YouTube, we went over just briefly all the good things that are going on in Florida. And one thing that I highlighted a little bit and something that has been making the rounds and in certain circles, it's called, oh, the don't say gay bill. Oh my God, they're basically, in Florida, they're basically killing gay students. And it's like, okay, if you take a look at the text of the bill, what is it? Um, don't give gender propaganda and, you know, don't teach a sexually explicit material to kids in kindergarten through grade three. Pretty fucking simple, hey? That's basically everything that it says in there. They did, uh, the House bill didn't have a flashy name or anything, or the Florida State Legislature didn't do anything, you know, that, that uh, at least Breitbart is proposing a much better sounding name for it, the Don't Groom Kids Law. That seems to make sense because they're just like, okay, cool. In school, we should probably be focusing on like science, math, uh, language arts, English, whatever the fuck have you, social studies. We should probably be focusing on that stuff and less about what you think about your dick, what you want to be doing with it, and where it should be going when you're in lower grade school. For fuck's sakes, you goddamn weirdos. But no, 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 no. Woke Hollywood decides that they're going to weigh in on this and... Disney-owned Marvel Studios says don't groom kids' law infringe on basic human rights of the LGBTQ ugh, community. How is that? How is that exactly? What, they can't um, raise the next generation to be just as fucked up as they are? Cool. Marvel Studios, which is owned by Disney, and uh, so is ESPN, uh, so is... Uh, Star Wars or whatever the nonsense that is and basically it, it, this is just Disney saying their fucking piece on this stuff and all of their subsidiaries as well but yeah don't expect anything different to come out from any other big fucking uh, publishing house it's, it's just the same stock lines we agree with current idea but here's some text from their fucking stupid statement about current issue uh, released a statement on Tuesday saying it denounces all bills banning transgenderism discussion in classrooms settings it doesn't belong there at all whatsoever this oh the missive comes after disney employees revolted after the company and chairman bob chapek's initial silence regarding the florida bill that restricts the teaching of sexuality and transgenderism to kids in kindergarten through third grade again n none of the people that are just so vocal about this understand it and even if they do that just means that they're sick individuals but again the more you know we strongly denounce any and all legislation that infringes on basic human rights of the LGB ugh, community. Which ones are those exactly? Which which ones did this bill infringe on? Okay, and basic human rights for certain communities. If they're basic human rights, they apply to everybody. There aren't specific ones for specific groups. So again, it, it's just this fucking gobbledygook from some intern that has control of the Twitter feed. Marvel Studios stands for hope, inclusivity, strength, poor writing, and repetitive storytelling, and piss-weak villains, and trotting out the same plot over and over and over again across 20-some-odd fucking movies and how many shitty series that you can't remember a single fucking plot point from a year later? Please tell me more about episode seven of WandaVision or hey, well, wasn't that great? That part, that, that part in uh, episode three of Loki or, oh my God, do you remember the fourth episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier? No, exactly. All of that stuff was just recently in the past year, calendar year, that is. And to be fair, WandaVision might be a little bit longer than that, but Loki was not that long ago. You know, I rest my case. Today, we pledge to continue our strong commitment as allies who promote the values of equity, acceptance, and respect. Because God damn it, we don't have that for our old fan base because we've jettisoned those motherfuckers out the door a long time ago. Last week, the CEO Bob Chapek caved to the woke mob ugh, and announced that the company is pledging $5 million <laughs> chump change, dude, toward ugh, groups in response to the Florida bill, which leftists have deemed the don't say gay bill. Actually, it's basically, if you, once again, you take a look at the text of the bill itself, it's the don't say anything sexually explicit to kids, which is fair. Kids who haven't even hit double digits in age yet. Seems pretty fucking honest and um, seems pretty fair to me. 
JPEG's move came after the Walt Disney Corporation faced a wrath from the Alphabet Mafia and their allies in the media and Hollywood who were furious over the company's resisting pressure to condemn the Florida bill. Okay, again, like Disney is what I'm I'm pretty sure it's headquartered in California. They have what yeah, Disney Disney Worlds in Orlando or something like that. One of the Magic King, I don't fucking know. But outside of that, what what do they have to do with that? Why do they have to take stance on uh, kids sexualization bills? Well, it's because Disney employees are planning a walkout over companies' response to Florida's Don't Groom Kids bill. They're taking this super serial, guys. Disney employees, including those who are L- ugh, are planning a massive walkout on March 22nd. What is that? Uh, next Tuesday or something like that? Whatever. To protest the entertainment giant's response to Florida's education bill that prohibits prohibits teaching the sexuality and ter- or transgender ideology to students in kindergarten through third grade. Again, if you want to propagandize children, I've, Disney has been doing it for a very fucking long time. How many times and how many compilations are just on YouTube of all the sexually explicit imagery that are in all of the fucking, re- at least Renaissance era cartoons, and then also all of the older ones as well, okay? How many dicks are drawn on the castle in fucking Atlantica and the Little Mer- mermaid or what does the sky read out in uh lion king isn't there sex in the clouds or something like that or if you listen to the audio tracks and i think aladdin at some point or another it's like have sex with cats or something i don't fucking remember but they've been doing this shit for a long fucking time and most of it was just for a joke but now it's just the company that's a joke uh the planned walkout is set to occur at 3 p.m on the 22nd according to the rap Ugh. but it isn't clear how much support the walkout actually has or how many employees might participate well it is disney headquarters so who knows uh, the group claims it intends to sponsor several such events throughout the rest of the month, but no details were released. And again, the people who would actually be behind this walk out, if you look at them, they don't do too much walking out of anywhere. Uh, organizers launched a Twitter account, <coughs> Disney Walkout, and a webpage in anticipation of the protest and shared a letter to the company insisting the efforts aimed to force the company to regain the trust of their whatever creepy employees. Uh, the group criticized Disney for not vigorously opposing Florida's education bill. See, this is why you don't capitulate, okay? And this is why you never say sorry. And that's what Joe Rogan fucking found out because your capitulation is never good enough for them. They want you dead. Honestly, that's that's what they want. If they don't like you, they want the worst things in life to happen to you, up to and including your death. You could pledge five million dollars, which is in the grand scheme of things, like I said, chump change to Disney, but it's something, okay? And they didn't say beforehand that it's like, yeah, you know what? Anybody who does have urges to want to have sex with the same gender, you should probably have electrodes strapped up to your temple and you should be shocked into submission. Did they say that? Or did they just not have an opinion on some fucking obscure bill in one of the many 50 states? You know what? I'm sure there's legislation in fucking France that goes on right now, but there's still a Disney, whatever, theme park and fucking Paris that's gone on right now. Okay, and yeah, no, there's the one that's in Hong Kong, and then there's another one that's in China that just gets shut down wherever somebody just is like, hey, she's not a very good guy, and then they need to hose down the park and get all the brain matter off of the fucking Matterhorn. But I guess, no, this one piece of legislation really struck a nerve with the people that work at Disney because, lo and behold, Dis- four Disney employees arrested for human trafficking. I feel like we covered the, a story like this a few months ago where there was like a, a, a half dozen people. It might have even been in Florida that were working at the park there. They were also indicted on human trafficking cases. You could go ahead and do a little bit of looking for yourself. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a, a continuation of that old story as well. The following. Oh, yeah, the following might help explain why so many Disney employees oppose or opposed Florida's Don't Groom Little Kids belt. I like that name better. I think that's a little bit more catchy than Don't Say Gay because it's retarded and incorrect. Well, County Sheriff Grady Judd on Wednesday announced the arrest of 108 people as part of Operation March Sadness 2, a six-day undercover operation. One of the employees was 27-year-old who worked as a lifeguard at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, Judd said. The man allegedly sent sexual images of himself and graphic sexual messages to an undercover detective who was posing online as a 14-year-old girl. 
Oh, okay, cool. Um, don't even worry about it. Just uh, hand the dude a noose and tell him to pick a light standard. Another Disney employee was a 24-year-old man who worked as at the Cosmic Restaurant. Other Disney employees arrested were a 45-year-old IT worker and 27-year-old software developer, Judd said. Hmm, can't imagine why um, um, so many of those, like the like the author John Nolte details here, it's like why so many of them would uh, oppose such bill. wonder how many more skeletons are in the fucking closet if they did a little bit of research into the people that are hired and worked with, or work at uh, any of the resorts that are out there. Hmm, imagine that, you get unfettered access and the loving adoration by just dressing up as one of their favorite cartoon characters in real life, you get so many kids swarming you all the time. It's literally a pedophile's wet and living dream. And all of the hysteria from media corporations, from all the big, you know, the same big box corporations that continue to support current cause, okay? They're so divorced from reality. And once again, I, I feel like just because this seems like to be one of those recurring things where creeps work at Disney, we know we've seen the products that they've been putting out for the past couple of decades. But the people who are actually on the ground, okay, the actual people who would be affected by these bills because... The higher ups at Disney, they aren't sending their kids to public schools. The fuck no. And you shouldn't be either for multitudes of reasons. But they like the don't groom kids bill. They think that it's pretty much on the level. More interaction between parents and the public school system. It seems pretty good, doesn't it? But the new media poll debunks fake ABC poll, so-called don't say gay bell. Yeah, once again, okay, ABC, they were running this story. ABC, also owned by Disney, just in case you didn't know. On Monday, a poll from far left ABC News Ipsos claimed that 62% of the country opposed the Florida bill prohibiting sexual grooming, teaching elementary school kids, sexual orientation, gender fluidity, and identity. Huh. Huh, weird, right? Um, I remember those polls being run too when it came to what the Texas abortion bill and then in the coming months, more states, okay, um, were also passing legislation for um, abortion bans as well at certain ages. It's just, it's just weird. The media is telling you one thing and then your average everyday person is telling you another. Don't believe your lying eyes though. On its face, the poll was a joke. The idea that nearly two-thirds of Americans are comfortable with the idea of teachers grooming uh, the prepubescent children about sex, much less the confusing subcultures of homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, asexuality, uh, gender fluidity, what else is there? I don't even know. I don't spend that much time on the fucking internet. <laughs> poll was an obvious hoax, a rigged poll. A fraudulent poll meant to gaslight those opposed to such a madness into believing that they are outnumbered. The stupid media have been playing this corrupt game for polling for decades. By and large, the public is caught on, but still, let's take a look at it at another poll. Okay, this one's run by the Daily Wire, which is just uh, the other side of the same coin, Ben Shapiro's outlet. But Ben Shapiro, okay, I rag on the little guy from time to time because neocon's gonna neocon, but. I agree with them more often than I disagree with them, to be fair, and most people kind of tend to, right? But his organization is out there doing the work that conservatives are like, Oh my god, the woke corporations are doing all this bad stuff, and there's nothing we could do about it. You just gotta vote for us, and we'll take care of it. No, you won't. But Daily Wire, you know what, at least they're making movies. They might not be any good, but at least they're making movies, and they're, you know, putting on talk shows. Okay, they, th again, they might not be any good, but... At least they're trying something. At least they're fucking doing something in order to affect the culture. Something that has been neglected by conservatives for a long fucking time, and now you're paying for that neglect. But again, here's the, the Daily Mail's poll. Shows 64% support the Florida ban on classroom instructions on sexual orientation, gender identity, in kids K-3 through three, or any level of it is not presented in a manner that is age or developmentally appropriate. That seems like it comes straight from the text of the bill. Imagine that when you give proper context, when you don't, okay, because I don't know what the question asked by the ABC poll was, but I'd imagine, um, do you agree that uh, DeSantis is bad because he hates gay people? As opposed to Daily Mail when they're like, okay, here's the actual text of the bill. Do you think that that's sane? And yeah, uh, when ABC found that, y'all, you know, two thirds of the people are actually cool, 
cool with it. They found that um, 21% are actually cool with it. Specifically in the state of Florida, again, no surprise, 62% of Democrats back the ban and 63% of black respondents and 66% of Hispanics. Huh, weird. But they also kind of fall in that whole Democratic umbrella as well. Do you believe that it is appropriate or inappropriate for teachers and school personnel to instruct children in kindergarten through third grade on various sexual orientations? The poll asked, almost two thirds, 65%. Yeah, the gun tear off said no, including 69 nice percent of parents probably the people outside of the kids themselves who are most affected by this do you believe that it is appropriate or inappropriate for teachers and school personnel to instruct children in kindergarten through third grade on gender identities such as transgenderism a full two-thirds said no including 69 percent of parents imagine that that just goes to show you when you talk to actual people and not from your same poll of democratic overwhelmingly democratic super sampled poll pools uh, like ipsos does more often than not the average person and the elites um they differ a lot on a lot of fucking things and while i don't think america is anywhere near a civil war or anything like that but i'm pretty sure that the divides are as strong as they've ever been and this just once again shows you but uh, yeah in case you needed a reminder that disney is not your friend yeah there's the update on it but we know who Disney is a friend of, pedophiles. With that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. Hunt your fire gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.